So you want to know more about AI. I will try to explain what an AI model is very briefly. An AI model is a program that makes predictions, but instead of following the rules of a programmer, like any other program, it learns how to make predictions based on data. To create an AI model, there are four steps. First, we need to fill the model with a lot of data. Then, we are going to use maths to find relationships within the data and recognize patterns. Once the model is trained to recognize patterns, we can already use it to make predictions. And lastly, using more maths, we optimize the model to make it better at predicting. A very, very basic example would be how to make a car price predictor based only in kilometers. We have a known variable, kilometers, and we want to predict the unknown, the price. This example could be easily solved with a linear regression where you calculate the line that better fits the data and then get an estimate price with it. Okay, so let's take a look. Here we have two axes. In the y-axis, we are going to represent the price of a car. In the x-axis, we are going to represent the kilometers that that car has. First, we need our data points. The more we have, the more accurate the, our model is going to be. Our second step is going to be recognizing a pattern here which is going to be shown by the red line. Our third step is going to be making the prediction. For any given kilometer value of a car, we can now calculate the approximate price that it will have. Our prediction is going to be that the more kilometers a car has, the price is going to be lower. Our fourth step is going to be optimizing this line so that it can better fit our data points. LLM models like ChatGPT use a more complex approach called neural networks, but they still follow the same principles. They are trained with a large amount of text written by humans, it recognizes patterns, and then it calculates one by one which word to choose based on probabilities. If you want to learn more about neural networks, at 4 Berlin we have an AI branch where you will learn how to create your own models without using any external libraries. So here at 42 Berlin, we are using DeepSeek uh, because we can self-host it in our server. It's free. And what we are doing is we are feeding this model with all our Notion database and all our Slack database so that it can generate instant responses to students that have problems. You can find this model in the Olama library. Uh, it's called DeepSeek R1. In our case, we can download the 32 billion parameters model. Once you have your model downloaded, then you can use any front-end uh, platform that you can choose. In our case, it's called OpenWebUI. And here, you can select your downloaded model, in this case, DeepSeek R1, and then you can start uh, asking questions. 